Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I'm not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest, but what I'm going to do is share with you my personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So with that said, we're looking at Bunny's Battle Game and they did have a pink sale pre-sale. Okay, so we can see this is actually a sale that ended. Okay, so we can see this is the battle or Bunny's Battle Token Fear launch. They got a couple of badges here on the audit it did pass with issues two major severity issues and those issues are centralized risk and add liquidity that's just verbiage you know from the actual audit itself and then initial token distribution so as far as like concerns of red flags for me you know that's going to be the big one okay is, is coming from the audit and the issues there so uh, moving forward we can see this pool ended they raised 158 beans on this one soft cap was 49 bnb and total contributors you know to this sale was 260 and per bnb these are the, this is the amount of tokens that they got so the native uh, or the ticker for this token is going to be bbt as you can see right here now they've got some socials as well and we can see the description bunnies battles the world's first created mobile play to earn for ios and android that is completely free and available on the blockchain with exciting game mechan mechanics sorry about that Unique token contract, you know, with everyday rewards for the top 50 holders. Hold to earn system, Bunny's Boom, and we'll talk about that uh, later on. But it's basically a buyback and burn event. In-game referral system, massive marketing budget, trending everywhere, tier 1 AMAs and calls, NFT collection, and fast tracking on CMG, CMC and CG as well. Now, as you guys understand, as I've mentioned before, fast tracking, you know, for either of those platforms, I mean, you can you can try to get fast tracked, or you can do fast tracking, but either way, it's up to CMC and, and CoinGecko as to when they list anybody on their platform. So keep that in mind. Now, uh, looking here, we all can see we also can see that they have a video, uh, but you guys know that we don't play videos on the channel as we explore projects, and so we can see they're reiterating their soft cap here, 49 beans. Uh, liquidity unlock time is going to be in a year, and we can see their token metrics. So nothing concerning there. So looking at their documentation, so we can see right away, I've got this already pre-situated, you know, for their roadmap. Now the roadmap is, is going to extend into 2023. So obviously this is New Year's Day at the time we're doing the video. So this will go into February 2023. Now looking at uh, the top of the roadmap, November, they got things checked off. December, some stuff checked off, but other stuff not checked off, right? So we can see first NFT Mint starting the pre-sale marketing campaign, public sale, hold to earn, a system launch. Now, public sale, because this is already a launch token, this should already be checked off, in my personal opinion, but they haven't checked it off yet. So my concern here is that you know they've got to go ahead and really stay on top of making sure that they're staying consistent with the, you know, lining up with what they've checked off on the roadmap to where the um, where the where the project currently is in real time, right? So this certainly should be um, you know checked off since they've already done the pre-sale and I'm guessing this public sale is in regards to you know releasing the contract to the public you know so that they can take place in the uh, participate in the product post the pre-sale um, hold to earn system launch starting the main marketing campaign centralized exchange listing they don't let us know what tier or what centralized exchange you're looking for here i believe they should do that in january we're looking at creating the group for beta test uh, beta version launch full game trailer nft public mint in-game marketplace 1v1 mode release full game launch 3v3 mode release and then looking in february ios release Referral system to bring friends, setting up the first monthly tournament, systems of leagues and, and leaderboards, adding in-game guilds, regular tournaments, first eSport DeFi tournament. Okay, and then if we look at their tokenomics, so we've got the graphic, but you know you can also take a look at here. This is the um, this is the the text-based version, you know, of it. Uh, and along with their vesting information. So we'll take a look at the graphic. Now we can see the symbol here is going to be BBT, 40% is going to IDO on the distribution of the tokens, 20% to PDE, 5% to team, 10% to centralized exchange listing, 5% to marketing, and 20% to liquidity. So that takes us through the token distribution. And then uh, on the taxes, this is going to be you know 3% on the buy side and 5% on the sell side. So low, low tax, and everybody likes those. I personally think nobody wants to pay more in taxes, you know, when they're going ahead and, and getting into a token or getting out of it. So 
moving forward, we can see that we've got some links up here in the navigation bar along with the socials, you know, bunnies, battle game, and they give us the same information that we saw on the pre-sale page here. So a button to go ahead and buy the token. We can also see here for the App Store and Google Play, they give you, you know, um, as you hover over it, you can see when they're going to be releasing it. That's going to be in February 2023. My only concern there is that it's February, you know, Jan February 2023. So that's a long time to wait, in my personal opinion, especially in crypto when things move so quickly, you know, for you to actually re release something that's kind of like a main, you know, uh, cent central part of the, of the project. So, all right, then we get their CA right here, reiterating the low tax, right? And they talk to you, talk to you about play and earn. Okay, so they give you some information here. You got a video you can engage with to see some gameplay as well. And uh, they talk to you about you know the smart contract, the battle for rewards. And here is the information in regards to the bunny's boom. So it's a deflationary mechanism that will raise the price of the tokens. So the one percent of each. Purchase will be accumulated in a separate purse from BNB. After reaching a certain number of coins, the purse is going to explode. That's why they call it the bunny's boom. Uh, it's a big buyback that will happen at random every time. The big the buyback amount will always be big enough to push the token price up extremely. Okay, so at this time, we'll take a look, you know, over at what's going on here with the chart. So, like I said, you know, they've already done their pre-sale. They've already, you know, launched. And this is the chart. Now, a lot of times we look at these charts, you know, especially, I personally think it's something you have to be careful about when it comes to pre-sales is that, you know, hang, you know, in a, in a, in a bear market, you don't always see a ton of tokens go, you know, just go straight up, you know, after, you know, during, you know, when they, when they launch following a pre-sale. So, and this one's no exception, you know, you see some consolidation, you see that it goes up and consolidates back down, goes up, and then here's that big dip. And it starts to recover, and then we can see it really, really makes some moves here. But then after that, it just starts consolidating down, right? So um, I think patience is always, you know, a a good thing to exercise, you know, when it comes to crypto. In my personal opinion, and I can't speak for anybody else. I mean, you know, on this channel, we don't even encourage you to invest, you know. But if you're somebody that participates, you know, I tend to, you know, uh, be someone in terms of my own operation that's, you know, hey, I, I want to wait to see what it's going to do. So in here, obviously, you know, it may have taken a bit of time, you know, but we did see that, in my personal opinion, here's an opportunity. Now, even though you're seeing some movement upwards, for all we know, based on the trend pattern, you know, because we're seeing lower lows, um, you know, when you when you take a look at how this chart is moving, we're seeing lower lows. We're not seeing higher highs. So this could continue to consolidate down. We just don't really know. It's a bear market and I tend to think, you know, bear markets are a bit more unpredictable than bull markets, you know, my personal opinion. So, but either way, um, this may be just one to go ahead and watch, you know, but liquidity looks good. And we're also seeing, you know, that it's still a low, you know, low market cap, you know, token. So again, I would, I, me personally, and my own, you know, through my own lens, I'm looking at this as a, as a crypto to watch, but I still have the concerns in regards to the audit issues, you know, that were found in the audit. So, but moving back over to the main page, they talk to you about their NFT with hold to earn system, you know, with a mint button here, the referral system, they give you a graphic here that goes over the referral system or kind of illustrates you with their, what's going on with the referral system. And then we see their tokenomics again. So we've already talked about that. And then we get here, you know, to their roadmap. So only, you know, real feedback here on the roadmap is going to be that one, they do give us the timelines. The timelines are helpful. Okay. However, in terms of consistency, we don't see anything checked off, you know, on this main page, but we do see things checked off, you know, when you look at the roadmap, you know, here in their documentation, we see things that are checked off here. Checking things off is a good indicator for people that are new to the project or visiting your website to see that you're actually doing work on your project. If you're not checking things off, then ultimately all you do is leave visit leave visitors with just a laundry list of stuff that you're doing, you know, but there's nothing to indicate that you've actually done anything, you know, so I'm a definitely a big fan of make sure that you do something to indicate, you know, what's in progress, what's been done already so that you're communicating through your roadmap progress in terms of what's going on with the project. Okay. And um, looking at the end, you know, of the roadmap here, it'd be good to see if we're going to be getting anything in terms of additional value on the roadmap and on the project, a V2 to the roadmap maybe, but we don't see anything that's communicated here. So, 
All right, so at the end we see here partners and basically we're at the foot of the page. You know, so keep in mind again, this is a launch token. They they had a successful pre-sale, and this is the chart. You know, so if this is something you're interested in taking a look at, be sure to take a look at any other content creators talking about the project to see, you know, um, what other information you can get. Take a look at their community, you know, in Telegram, and, um, you know, ask questions of the team. You know, all the basic things that you should be doing, you know, when you're evaluating a token as you consider on, consider, you know, how you want to proceed with it. So, all right, so with that said, that's going to do it for me, you know, on Bunny's Battle. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and as always, ladies and gentlemen, you all enjoy the day.